Hi, I'm Taylor with AWS. In the last video, we showed you how to set up the IAM roles needed by Systems Manager. In this video, we'll show you a few common scenarios for registering your instances with Systems Manager. As we mentioned earlier, to enroll an instance under Systems Manager, it must have an SSM role attached to it and must also have the SSM agent installed. Once both of these items are completed, an instance is considered a managed instance. There are three methods to create a managed instance. Let's start off with the first one, which is launching a new EC2 instance as a managed instance. So I'm going to jump back into the console here. And I'm in the EC2 console to be specific. And I'm going to show you how to launch an instance as a managed instance. I'm going to start by clicking on Launch Instance. And I'm going to select the Amazon Linux AMI. And I'll go with the default instance type. And I'm going to go click Next Configure Instance Details. Now remember, I need to select the role that we created earlier to manage the instance. And that was called my Managed Instance Role for SSM. So now I'm launching the instance with the required role. Now, one thing to note for Linux AMIs is that they do not have the SSM agent bundled with them. What we can do is we can use user data to install that agent at launch. Alternately, if I were launching a Windows AMI, I wouldn't need to use user data because the agent is bundled with the image. So it'll take a few minutes for our instance to complete launching, so we're going to skip ahead and look at what a launched instance looks like. So we've launched a new instance that also happens to be a managed instance. Let's see what we can do with it. So I'm looking at the Instances view, and our new instance is called Demo, launched with SSM. I'm going to scroll down on the left nav, and I'm also going to go to the Managed Instances view. And again, this represents all instances that I've decided to register with Systems Manager. So now that we have a new instance here, let's demonstrate running a command against it. Again, we have seven different services within Systems Manager. And one of them is called Run Command, which supports remote command execution at scale. So here I'm going to run a command. And in this case here, I'm going to choose from the command documents I have. I'm going to select Run Shell Script. And then I'm going to select the target here. The target's going to be the instance I just launched. And I'm going to enter a simple Linux command. All right. And then I'm going to go click Run. Here's my command ID. And I can also browse the output. And now we can see all the items in the folder in which the command was run. This is just one example of the many services within Systems Manager. So be sure to check out our other videos, including those on State Manager, Patch Manager, Parameter Store, Inventory, Maintenance Windows, and of course, Run Command. For our next scenario, we'll show you how to configure an existing instance as a managed instance. This scenario is applicable when you have existing long-running Windows or Linux instances that you'd like to enroll under Systems Manager. In this example, you're still going to need the same two ingredients, an SSM role and an SSM agent. Let's look at how you configure an existing Linux agent for use with Systems Manager. So I'm going to start off by connecting to my instance via SSH. And I'm going to go ahead and paste in a command here. And you can see now that I've connected to my Linux instance. And what I'm going to do is install the SSM agent. So I've got all the commands laid out up above. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a temporary directory. And I've made it. And then I'm going to change to that directory. Great. Now I'm going to download the agent itself. And it's downloaded. Now I'm going to install the agent. Lastly, I'm going to confirm that the agent's running. And there it is. Great. So I've installed the agent on my instance. Remember, the second ingredients we're going to need is we're going to need to attach a role to the instance. So I'm going to run back up to instances. All right, so here's my instance called demo need to install agent and attach SSM role. So I've installed the agent, and the next thing for me to do is attach the role. I can right click on the instance, and then I can go down and I can say attach IAM role. 
and I'm going to go select the role that we created earlier, and that's called my managed instance role for SSM. I'm going to attach that role to my existing instance. Now that I've attached the role and installed the agent, we'll see this instance also appear in the managed instances view. And here it is. So let's move on to our third scenario, which is configuring an on-premises server as a managed instance. To set up on-premises servers as managed instances, you need to create a managed instance activation. After you complete the activation, you'll receive an activation code and ID. These credentials function like an Amazon EC2 access ID and secret key and provide secure access to the systems manager service from your instance. Let's set up an activation using the console. I'm going to get navigate down in the left nav all the way down to activations. And I'm going to click create activation. And I'm going to come up with a name. I'm going to call this my SSM demo activation. And I'll set my instance limit to 50. And I will use an existing IAM role name. I'm going to use the IAM role we created earlier today and I'm going to set up an expiration date for this activation. Now an important thing to note about the expiration date is that it only applies to the length at which the credentials are valid for. It doesn't mean that your instances will no longer be registered with the systems manager service after the expiration date. I'm going to click Create Activation, and it's going to generate an ID and a code, and we're going to want to put those in a safe place as we'll use them in the next step when we activate an on Now we've created an activation, which we'll use to register our on-premises instances as managed instances. Remember, you're going to want to go ahead and copy the activation code and activation key as you'll need them as part of the activation process. All right, so the process for activating an on-premises instance is quite similar to that for activating an existing instance with only one big difference, and that comes down to this command right here where we actually go through the registration step. So just as we showed before, we've got a make directory command, change directory, download the agent, and install the agent. And this would all be done via SSH on your on-premises instance. The main difference here is that we would stop the agent and then register the agent using the code and the ID that we just generated previously. And of course, we're going to go ahead and state the region as well. Once we've completed this step, we can restart the agent and then your on-premises instance will become a managed instance. All right, so we've shown you how to create a managed instance by launching a new instance, by creating a managed instance from an existing instance, and also by creating a managed instance from an on-premises instance. Thanks for watching.